Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is a figure that I was not going to buy. I had no interest in getting this figure whatsoever. I mean, nothing against anybody who went out to get him because, you know, to each their own. But then Toy Hacks decides to come up with this fantastic looking conversion set to change it into a completely different figure. And I had to get him. I mean, I want that conversion set. And the figure I'm talking about is the Amazon exclusive alternate universe sleep mode, AKA dead Optimus Prime. Now, just my luck, this figure drops to $34.99 on Amazon for a daily deal. I passed it up. The next day is when I saw the Toy Hacks uh, advertisement. Fortunately, I get on Amazon and I got this guy for like $32 because it was used. The packaging was damaged, as you can see, it's got packing tape here up top. There's a barcode slapped right there. Amazon warehouse ex inspected on the side. I mean, the box is jacked up, but I'm an out-of-box collector anyway. And the figure itself, of course, the box is pretty cool. It's this black and white image of Optimus Prime's chest. You got the busted window with RC, Ultra Magnus, and Hot Rod looking on. This Optimus Prime is the version that we saw in the 86 movie that turned gray and is dead on Perceptor's operating table. So from what I can tell, this is a straight up repaint of Earthrise Optimus Prime with uh, a little bit of difference. Uh, it's a different head sculpt, shows some uh, battle damage. So without further ado, let's get this corpse out of the grave and in front of the camera. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the dead Optimus Prime all open and out of his coffin, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, and these are a little different than what I'm used to. These are in a black, white, and red color scheme, but they're, damn, speaking of Optimus Prime, big old truck just drove by. Anyway, where was I? Yes, instead of the normal instructions we usually get, this one's done in black, white, and red, and is actually pretty easy to follow. Of course, like I said, this is a flat out repaint of Earthrise Optimus Prime, so you should know how to transform this guy by now. He also comes with his Ion Blaster, and it's done in a very shiny looking silver or chrome, and I really like the looks of that. That's pretty sweet. And then, of course, you get Optimus Prime himself. And this is pretty cool looking. It actually looks a lot better in hand than what I saw in the pictures. It's really cool how they made this grayscale figure. It's almost like holding a black and white image. I mean, the color scheme, or lack thereof, is really, really neat. Now, let's take a look at the trailer first. Just like Earthrise, man, I'm throwing stuff all over the place. Just like Earthrise Optimus Prime, it has a lot of great molded detail all over, very Generation 1 looking. I like the wheels. A lot of people complain right here. There's a lot of gap, a lot of hollowness, but oh well, I've gotten used to that because of Earthrise Prime. Now, 
When I opened this guy up and pulled the trailer out, I realized why I got this guy cheap and used. It's missing the trailer supports. Fortunately, my buddy Firetox has hooked me up with these extra trailer supports. So I can just pop these on like so. So now I can at least utilize the trailer. Now, of course, getting it from Amazon, I called Amazon or didn't call them. I sent them a uh, message, complained, and they're supposedly sending me a replacement with the uh, trailer supports, and I'll just have to send this one back. But, yeah, that's why it was cheap. So with these trailer supports here, I can just flip these open, angle them out, and get that a little better. There we go. So now I've got Prime's trailer supported. Now, opening this up... You have to open the trailer first, bring that down. The inside, just like Earthrise Prime, tons and tons of molded details. It looks great, but very, very plain. I know that Toy Hacks decal set that's coming is going to fix up all of this. He also has his little repair drone, just like Earthrise, and it's done in that grayscale collar as well. And of course, this can be removed to work with Earthrise Optimus Prime himself. So that's pretty much it for the trailer. Go ahead and put that to the side. And here we have the Earthrise or the dead Optimus Prime cab. And once again, the grayscale collar really, really works on this figure. You can really make out all those molded details once again, just like Earthrise. These things, the gas tanks flop in very, very easy. I like their collar. They got that same chrome look that the weapon had. Chrome here on the bumper and the front. Got uh, drawn a blank here. Oh, kind of a smoky, translucent plastic over the lights. Nice silver there on the smokestacks. I like that. I think that is really, really cool looking and definitely something different. And then, of course, once again, you can take this here. Flip these around. Get the door shut. Attach the trailer. And now you got Earthrise, her dead Optimus Prime, ready to roll in to the afterlife. So truck mode is pretty cool. I dig it. But now let's take a look at robot mode. In robot mode, the dead Optimus Prime still has that grayscale color scheme and it really works for this figure. The main difference now is he has this brand new head sculpt. I mean, he's got jacked up antennas. They actually look like they've been chewed on, but trust me, that's the way they're molded. No color in the eyes. The eyes are just black. After all, he's dead. He's got a busted up mouth plate. So pretty unique looking head sculpt for Optimus Prime. I do wish they added a little bit more damage to the figure. I mean, the windows should be cracked, maybe some cracks along the body, some smudges, but oh well, I still see what they were going for. This figure has all the same articulation as Earthrise Optimus Prime, and let's see, he's got his silver blaster right here. We'll put this in his hand. I do like the looks of that silver gun. That looks really, really cool. I dig this guy. I didn't think I would, but I think he's pretty cool and a different addition to your collection. Now, like I said, you can take the drone, attach that to his back here. So he's got this Scorponok look to him, if you will, but I, I'm not a big fan of that, so I can't leave the drone in the trailer. But all in all, this is a pretty cool figure, and I'm glad I picked him up even though I'm going to be changing him into somebody else. Another accessory that this figure comes with is the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. You just open up the dead Optimus Prime's chest, and there it is. And it is exactly like the one that came with Earthrise Optimus Prime. I do like the fact that they added the collar inside the chest. You've got that gold bronze collar right there, so... Something they didn't have to do. They could have made that all gray as well, but I'm glad they at least added that. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here's the Transformers Alternate Universe Sleep Mode Optimus Prime with Generation 1 Optimus Prime. 
Earthrise Optimus Prime, and the Netflix Siege Nemesis Prime. All in all, the Transformers alternate universe dead Optimus Prime isn't a bad figure. Granted, it's just another repaint, but my gosh, that's all we've been getting lately. But still, he's really cool, especially that unique color scheme and the battle-damaged head sculpt. Still, this may not have been a figure I would have rushed out to get if it wasn't for the fact I'm going to enhance him into somebody else. So there you go, guys. The Transformers Amazon exclusive alternate universe sleep mode Optimus Prime. Zombie Prime. So how's this for timing? I just hear a knock at the door, go downstairs, and the mail's here, and my Toy Hex decals for this Optimus Prime have just arrived. So let's get these open. And yes, I have two large decal sheets to transform this Optimus Prime into a brand new character. And I'll be going over these a little bit more in my very next review. But the question still remains, does a Transformers alternate universe sleep mode, aka dead Optimus Prime, belong in your collection? Well, if you're a hardcore Optimus Prime fan or a big fan of exclusives, then absolutely, this is a unique look for Optimus Prime. I don't think we've ever got a grayed out Optimus Prime before. And I think it's pretty cool, especially with the battle damaged head sculpt. But for the normal collectors, I'd say he's an easy pass because this one is nostalgia fuel only. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! Now, let's get to sticking.